Hello people, uh, yeah I'm back. Uh, I thought I'd do another game of randomness from Black Ops. Um, this is a pretty shitty, well it's not really shitty, actually I did alright, it got a 4.13 KD, oh yes. But I thought I'd do a bit more of a uh, different, you know, I don't know, kit or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'm using flak jackets, sleight of hand, and I think I'm just using ninja. Um, and I thought I'd try and do what you'd used to do in Modern Warfare 2 just to piss people off. And that's using the Thumper, e.g. the, uh, aka the China Lake. And, uh, also a Grave Launcher. Um, one second. I'm eating a bagel at the same time, which is just lovely. Um, yeah. Uh, I've also got, so I've got a Commando with a Grenade Launcher. <coughs> Oh, that's a bagel. Sweet. No, yeah, I've got Command with like grenade launcher, and I've got my uh, China Lake, and I've also got a C4, which I don't end up using. Um, it does me all right, you know. It's whatever you know works out. And my kill streaks, I'm <laughs> annoyingly, I'm using a uh, four, five, six, which is obviously the Sam turret um, care package and sentry gun. And that's because I've been using Hardline Pro non-stop in this game because it's like the best thing to do. You know, what's the point of building up kill streaks when you just have to get a care package, switch it to a chopper gunner, and then it's sorted. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit of a dick in that respect. <laughs> but I didn't change the kill streaks for no particular reason. I just, I guess, I just forgot. Um, but it does end up working out for me in the end. So uh, you'll see. It does does kind of do all right. Um, I haven't really done a thoughts in this game yet, but I mean, I'm not with everyone. I have to say that everyone's saying, "Oh, this is the best game that's ever been made." It's so very balanced, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go, you know, fuck my disc. But I'm of the place in my mind where I'm thinking, do you not think it's, like, too balanced? I mean, you really can't outgun someone anymore, you know, as as you used to be able to. And I mean, that's all right with me. Assault rifles and SMGs, which, you know, they're, they're as they should. SMGs drop damage a lot quicker over distance. And uh, assault rifles, you know, they don't drop damage as much. But in close quarter situation, the high fire rate from the SMG is much better than the assault rifle. And that's how it should have been in Modern Warfare 2, and it is in this. So that's fine with me if I'm just, you know, doing stuff like that. But there is the, um, ugh, the situation with the snipers. I'm going to do a sniper gameplay at some point. And um, uh, I have, I've been struggling to get a good one. I've got a 17 and 4, I think, which isn't brilliant, but I might upload that, but I don't know. Um, just the point of view on the snipers is that there's really no point, there was no point in nerfing them and literally from my point of view they specifically target snipers for no real reason. I mean people people are putting it down to um, you know all these community managers seeing all these massive decent montages online and thinking that snipers are way too overpowered. But I'm not sure if they did because they're not really that stupid. I mean really they would have had some sort of contact with people that are not, I don't know, adults or people that are not proper gamers. I mean, they would have had contact with, well, I mean, all the way around, people that are proper gamers. Um, I'm told that they had um, they had a few people then testing the snipers um, during the beta phase, and um, they were saying it's okay. But I do, I don't understand how what thought process went through to nerf them in such a ridiculous manner that it's making it almost impossible to quick scope and people are I know there's loads of people go out there saying thank god people you know quick scoping's dead because that was a, a ridiculous unrealistic part of the game which really had to be dealt with and uh, again my opinion my point of view is that I came to Call of Duty for the quick scoping I came to it because it was ridiculous I thought it was hilarious I thought it was fun and I felt satisfied when doing it because I played Battlefield shit like that things where quick scoping was out of the nature and it was just ridiculous and it was almost impossible Battlefield it is possible but not quite not quite as good as Modern Warfare 2 so that's why I, I came to you know the Call of Duty series I started in COD 4 um, I, I wasn't a massive quick scoper ironically but I got used to it. I really loved it. It was probably, probably the thing that kept me into gaming, really. 
because there's too many frustrating things on Call of Duty that made me just want to quit it. And I would have if it wasn't for quick scoping. Um, so, my point of views in summary, in case you didn't quite get it, quick scoping has been in Call of Duty since two, as far as I'm aware. Um, it, it's a massive part of the franchise. You can't just get rid of it and just you know nonchalantly walk off and think they've done a decent job. Uh, and three, I'm almost just at the stage now where I've quit Black Ops because of it. I mean, really, the quick scoping Modern Warfare 2 was just very, very fun, very satisfying, and I loved it. I mean, with all the bullshit in the game, I think they got quick scoping right. They brought a new thing to the series. They brought you know Slight Fan Pro, which changed everyone's point of view on it, and. Funnily enough, it did make a lot more quickscopers, and that strengthens the community. In a whole, the quickscoping, the quickscoping community is more dedicated and loyal to the Call of Duty series than the people that don't. You'd be really surprised. I mean, if you look at Optic, you know they started off as a quickscoping, you know, um, clan, and they did brilliantly for themselves, and they have got a massive community, and people follow them loyally, and will, you know, say. That quick scoping is a part of the game, and you can't get rid of it. <sighs> that's my rant over. But in essence, that's what I think. But on the other hand, on the positive side of Black Ops, they have everything almost perfect. Was, I keep saying this, but it's it's too perfect. <laughs> I haven't found many glitches. Glitches don't bug me as much, and I haven't found any thing you can abuse, which can be good, it can be bad. I mean, as long as it's not terrible abuse, I'm not really that bothered with it. Um, for instance, if you look at now, I've got my chopper gunner. Um, it's just don't, gone now. Oh, actually, funnily enough, I was looking back in the uh, theatre at the chopper gunner. If you look at it up in theatre, you know, like float about and look above it, the chopper gunner has no propellers or, or blades. Yeah, and um, also the your character that's you know gunning has no face. He's just got a helmet. He's got no face or head. It's really weird. He's got a chin strap and he's got no head. Just out of randomness, I saw that. Um, the yeah, kill streaks are very balanced. Uh, not really unfair, you know. Also, they don't build up, so that's good. Um, uh, everything's almost perfect except for sniping. I mean, it's it's kind of like Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 could have been like the best game. For, you know, could have been the best Call of Duty if they just tweaked some things. And uh, funnily enough, they've done, they've almost made this the best Call of Duty, but they've tweaked it too much. And they've made it just a little bit too pristine, which I'm not a big fan of. Alright, that's all I've got for me. Sorry for confusing point of views, but you know what? That's who I am. Deal with it, bitches. I have to drink my tea and eat my bagel. Well, it's cold now. It's your fault.